Hi, and welcome back to my Allen Bradley PLC test bench. Today we're going to be testing chassis power supply combinations to show how we do it so that you can make sure that your chassis and power supply work properly. Also, how to take the power supply on and off of the chassis. There seems to be some confusion by some people where they try and take the plastic end piece off the two little screws and fight with it. It's really not that hard. So we'll be get swung around here and set up and I'll be right back. Okay, we're back. So what we're testing is a 1756A17. So that means there's 17 slots in it. And this procedure will be used for, doesn't matter which chassis you're using, 4, 13, 7, 10. It also is the same procedure for Slick 500 and for PLC5. So we've got a 17 slot chassis and we've got 17 modules to put into it. If you're going to test it, you need to test it fully. So every module slides in and they can sometimes be a little difficult. So I'm using I just a bunch of modules I grabbed and these ones are hard output and they draw 200 milliamps at 5 volts and 230 milliamps at 24 volts. When you're testing your equipment you want to be able to load it up as much as possible. Now the other, because I don't have a lot of these, I've also got some thermocouple, some IP6. And again, 250 milliamps at 5 volts and 125 at 24 volts. Now you can see as I put it in, I kind of wiggle it back and forth. Sometimes, because of the way these were designed, they're kind of a pain to get, get them in there. And you can also see I'm using gloves. Now, that's because there are sharp corners on a lot of these. So, we'll just finish this part. Okay, so now I'm just going to reset here so that uh, you get a clear view of the power supply. Right back. Okay, so now what we're going to do is install the PA75 power supply onto the end of the chassis. It goes straight on and straight down. Now, these can sometimes be a little difficult. Don't know why. But you just kind of wiggle them down until they're solid. Now in the field, and we'll do it here too, is you just take your screwdriver and tighten up these two screws. And your power supply is now properly installed. To get it off, you loosen the two screws and if this was mounted in a, in a cabinet it would be up this way but you get your hands both sides and your thumbs there and you you have to really kind of wiggle it until you get space underneath and then you can slide straight up and get it off. There is under, there is no way that you need to take this off, which I've, I've got chassis in, and seen, and I've got power supplies in with this piece on. It uh, is not the way it's designed. So you slide that in. It's in there tight. Tighten up your screws. You 
in this case, plug it back in and power switch on and everything starts to power up all the way down the line. You, I normally let it sit powered up for a half hour or more uh, depending upon what kind of shape it was in when we got it and that way you're, you, you've tested your power supply and you know that yes it is 100 percent working and you also take because I've got a processor I've got a COM card plug in your COM card and go online to your, your processor and have a look at your tree and make sure that all of your modules are talking. So there's our tree. It's just a dummy program with everything in it. There's all of our modules. We have no warnings on anything. So we know that this combination as it sits, a chassis, power supply, and modules, everything's talking and ready to go into service. So there we are. That's how we test everything we've got here. Thanks a lot. Subscribe if you want. Come back anytime. Any questions, let me know in the comments. Thank you.